Welcome back to Elizabeth Plants. I'm Elizabeth and today we are growing cat grass. Um, so if you watched my oddballs video, you will see that I grew a ton, a ton, a ton of cat grass for my cats to help keep them out of my actual plants. And it was successful. And my cat's going in the trash bin right back. But anyway, since I filmed that video, Raja, out of the trash. No, go play with your brother. He's right there. Go play. They have seriously abused the crap out of the grass. It literally just like turned to dirt. Um, and maybe I overwatered a little bit too much, which kind of uh, played a role in that. But I threw out the old grass and I'm going to grow them a new grass bed but I want to do that with you guys so you can see how I did it. So what you need to grow a cat grass bed is something to put the bed in. So this is an old litter box of theirs that we don't use anymore. Um, so in the previous, Rasha, out of the trash. Why did you not care until I started filming? You are rude. Yes, you are rude. This is their old litter box. And so last time I did not punch any holes in it or anything um, and just kind of like was hoping, but obviously that's not ideal because when I water it, the water just sits. Um, so I have since, I mean, there's still some dirt in there and I don't think you're gonna be able to see the holes. Maybe if I show you the bottom. So you can see all those like white bits. Those are holes, there's only five because they're kind of a pain and I didn't want to break my box cutting knife, but I don't have a drill or anything. So I just took like a, bo like a box cutting knife, I think is what they're called. And I just put like X's in them. And then I took a pen and shoved the pen through the center of the X so as to open it up a little bit more. Um, and I'm hoping that that will work as a drainage hole. Is that yours? See, where's my grass? What did you do, mom? I make more, okay? I make more? Where's your brother? So that's what I'm going to be putting it in. Um, however, we are not to this step. <laughs> so set that aside. Um, you will also need wheatgrass seeds or catgrass seeds. I got these ones on Amazon. These are what I use. Um, I will link these in the description. Oh, my dude, aggressive, jump nice. Um, I will be using, <laughs> oh God. I'll be using these. And step number one with these is to open it up. Do you want this? Go get it. Open it up. Um, I'm going to use half of the bag, a little over half of the bag. Um, but what I need to do first is rinse them off. So this is my strainer. I'm going to pour approximately half of the bag um, a little bit more into this strainer and then go rinse it in the kitchen sink. In this bag. Raja, you guys know. You guys know what I'm doing, huh? I am going to go rinse these off in the sink and I will be right back. Entertain the viewers. All right, so I have officially rinsed them off. The next step is to let them sit in a bowl for a couple of days. They say put it in a bowl and then take them out and rinse them every 24 hours. I'm too lazy for that. Um, so I rinse them off once, put them in the bowl, and then once the bowl dries out for, uh, every time it dries out for a couple of days, I will mist it until it's moist. Um, and then once they start to kind of germinate, to what I mean, they start to grow little roots, I will then plant them. So today we are putting them in, <laughs> hello. They, we are putting them in the bowl and I'm going to go put them in the office where they will sit cat disturb free. For you, are you excited? Mm -hmm. 
I'm excited for new cat guys bibs. So I now have all the seeds in just like a bowl. You can put them in a. I do. <laughs> you don't have a graceful cat. He does not land on his feet. Um, but once, or just like you can put them in any bowl, a jar or whatever. Um, so these are now in here. I'm going to spray them a little bit. And I'm going to go put these in a cat free space, not in the sun. Um, so in the shade. And I will return to you with the results after a couple of days once they start uh, rooting and we will plant them. This is a video for you. So don't, don't hold me, Mom. Independent. So it's day two of being in this bowl. If you can see some of those white little bits, those are roots. The seeds are starting to germinate. But I'm gonna wait another day for them to germinate just a little bit more. All right, so it is approximately three or four days later um, from the last, the first clip you saw, and about a day and a half. 36 ish hours from the uh, update about how the seeds look. And I definitely waited too long, um, but I ran out of daylight yesterday with work. So I'll, you know, I'll just put a little video up here of what it looks like. Um, definitely waited a little bit too long. It's kind of a, well, I don't want to dump it into the empty. I'll show you. It's kind of a solid block because the roots have intertwined too much. So I'm just going to be using some regular potting mix. I learned that if I do any additives, then there is uh, stuff blocking the grass from growing up. So I'm just gonna leave it as is this time. Simba, are you gonna help? I don't want you to help. Yeah, I know you love digging in dirt. No kitty can't help today. So I'm going to put kind of a thin layer uh, across the bottom. So I'm going to say the layer on the bottom is going to be approximately an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch is more accurate. Then I'm going to put just a, another thin layer of seeds. I'm hoping this is enough. It's probably more than enough, but I want to kind of show you guys the solidness of this block because of the roots. So I'm going to have to kind of pull them apart and sprinkle them. I hope that doesn't make too much of a difference. The grass is starting to grow on some of them. So hopefully it'll grow really fast um, in the box. So I wanna make sure it's pretty even throughout. I don't want any like dirt spots for my cats to dig up. And you do not have to wait for the seeds to germinate, I don't think. Um, I didn't the first time, but they took so much longer as a result. And if I have any extra seeds, I'm just going to make a small pot of grass. Uh, I might have some extra seeds because I made a little bit more this time on purpose because I did not make enough last time. Okay, so I've got a nice layer of seeds. I'm going to just sprinkle some of these. Got a nice layer of seeds. No guys, I know what you want. You can't have it. Next, I'm going to do my breast to, you know what, I'm gonna get a measuring spoon or something. So you want to sprinkle another thin layer of dirt across the top. I'm going to just cover everything um, except if any grass is already growing up from the seeds. So I'm not going to bother covering that. So long as like all the roots and the seeds itself are covered, that should be plain enough dirt. You don't want to overdo the dirt if your cats are like mine and they like to dig in dirt. Awesome. So 
that's what that looks like now. As you can kind of see right here, some of the grass is already growing up from the seeds as well as over here a little bit. So now what you're going to do is water it with a mister. I have like an auto mister, so I'll be using that. You don't want to soak the, um, ugh, the dirt because that just breeds pests. You want it to get wet enough to continue growing the grass, but without like either rotting the seeds or attracting bugs, especially if you have a home like mine that kind of already has a little bit of moss gnats. So that is how you create a cat grass bed. Um, now I'm going to be checking in periodically with growth. I'm going to try and check in daily. It might not happen. Um, so maybe every other day we'll check in on the growth of the grass until it's done. We are day one. You can see grass is already growing. They need to be watered probably in the next couple of hours. So it's pretty dry in this room. So this is the same day as the previous clip. However, since that last clip, my cat got into the dirt and dug it all up. So there's a ton of like surface top seeds and some of the grass is like dislodged. So just thought I'd give the update. It should still be okay. But some of the seeds will probably need to just, I don't know, rebury themselves. This happened last time and it didn't seem to make a difference. So I'm not too worried. All right, so it's about a week into the grass. There's still too much dirt for me to give it to my cats, which could be just the effect of them digging in it. But as you can see, they found it and laid in it um, and tried to dig up the corners, which is why they look kind of like this. So this is not a perfect experiment, obviously. Um, but these little guys are doing really good. Um, I have set them down on the ground for the cats. The cats were just preoccupied because I am reorganizing my office and they wanted to see what everything else was. Within the next week, they will probably be ready for the cats. All right, so it's a couple days later, and if you saw my Green Spaces ID unboxing, you saw that I let my cat lay in this last night. Um, there's a, still a dirt spot down the center here, so my goal is to kind of clear up this dirt spot and make it grass before I give it to my cats, like actually. However, they have managed to lay in it a couple of times, which I think is the reason why they like to sneak in here, little sneaks. Um, so what I'm trying to do is fluff the grass so it's not so flat so I can actually see where the bald spots are. Um, and I guess I'm just going to mist. Hope for the best, wait a couple more days maybe, and then I'll give it to my cats. But I will insert a picture right now of my cat laying in it last night because it's cute. And these guys are pretty much, if you can see that, pretty much as good as they're going to get. Um, they need to be watered, but I've got one in the bedroom. It's been in there for a couple of nights now. Just to kind of hold my cats off, I'll put like one of these on the ground so that they don't go into the massive bed. And it's like kind of working, but these are pretty good. There's a lot less of a worry about dirt because my cats can't really lay in this. I mean, they're smaller than my hand. All right, so I have officially decided that that little middle patch of dirt is not going to grow. It's a couple days later, um, and this one just cannot stay out of it. So I'm officially giving the cats their grass. Um, it was recently watered, but they already flattened it. He just loves to lay in it, and this one loves to eat it. So that is how I grow cat grass beds. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if this is something your cats will enjoy, if you've tried it, uh, how it went, what process did you use. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more houseplant and cute kitty uh, content. See you next time.